prime time from the Bay Area's local news station. You're watching Cron 4 News at 9. Tonight at 9, an East Bay high school teacher has been placed on administrative leave after assigning reading material that some parents deemed sexually explicit. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Vicki Liviakis. And I'm Grant Lotus. Parents telling us tonight the material made some kids sick to their stomachs. Crown Force Gail Long spoke to a parent who is really upset about what happened, and Gail joins us live in the newsroom with details. Good evening, Gail. Good evening, Grant and Vicki. That parent says she notified school officials when she was first made aware of the assignment and says the topic should have been kept out of the classroom. That was very disappointing. This parent's daughter goes to James Logan High School in Union City. She says the controversial reading assignment was given by her daughter's history teacher. I was like, how am I going to explain this story? So I was like, did you um, read a paper? guy in the shower touching himself and at that moment her face just cringed. The parent did not want to show her identity but showed this photo of the reading assigned to 10th graders earlier this month. And their reaction was that they felt so uncomfortable in that class and sick to their stomach while they're reading it and have to, having to answer those questions. In a statement, the New Haven Unified School District superintendent wrote in part, quote, as superintendent, I was just as outraged as our parents when I learned about the particular reading selection that was assigned to our students. As soon as we learned of this assignment, it was withdrawn and the teacher was placed on administrative leave pending investigation into this matter. The superintendent went on to say the reading passage was from the book Chicana Falsa by Michelle Saros, a novel with a collection of poems about growing up in a rural community in California. The district says it was neither age nor content appropriate for high school students and that the book was selected by the teacher as supplemental material and was not approved for use in classrooms in the school district. But this parent questioning how the material reached students in the first place. As parents, we would like the, the school board to support us and how we want to raise our children and what they're supposed to be taught within the school system and eliminate the sexualization within the school um, literature. So far, the district has yet to release the name of that teacher under investigation. In the newsroom, Gail Ong, Cron 4 News. Thank you, Gail.